Hello everyone and welcome to another Hallelujah Season review. This evening I am reviewing a new Roll and Write game uh, produced by Game Right, and it is called Bloom, the Wildflower Dice Game, and designed by Wouter von Strein. And it is uh, follows the same suit as a lot of their uh, their previous Roll and Write with Quicks and Roll for America. These little boxes, they're great sizes, great for travel, and uh, it has nice little magnetic uh, clothes on it uh, that works really, really well. Uh, and in this game, you have a one-page fold-out of the rules. Uh, you have a, a pad of the uh, flower garden beds uh, that you're working with. There are different variants, A, B, C, D, and E, uh, included in this. Uh, and they just cycle through. So you go A, there's like all of the A's up here, and then B, C, etc. And uh, then of course the dice. And uh, the dice are uh, really nice as well. And then they're a very nice uh, kind of pastel uh, color to them. Uh, and this one here, so you get the five color dice and then a kind of translucent wild die as well. Uh, so in Bloom, in this game here, for one to five players, uh, what you're trying to do is you're trying to uh, basically race to get uh, these uh, different flowers circled first. So the first person to circle all of their uh, pink flowers will get six points. Uh, the second person, uh, so everyone will cross off the six who didn't get it. And then uh, if someone finishes their pink flowers next, they'll get four points. And then the next available one would be two points. And you're doing that for all the different flowers. And then you also get points for garden beds, completing garden beds. So if I circle all of the flowers in this garden bed, you can see there's six different white squares here as backgrounds. Those are garden beds. And as soon as you circled all of the flowers in one of those, you First, you go from left to right, so you'd get three points. You'll circle that. And this one does not affect, uh, isn't affected by the other players. This is just you. So the first garden bed you complete, you'll get three points, four, five, and six, if you get, are able to complete four of your garden beds. Okay? And uh, we'll go through how you do that here in just a second. Um, and then there's uh, this little section here is for unhappy customers. Uh, which we'll talk about, and this is, you get one reroll in this entire game. Uh, and if you do not use it, it is worth one point at the end of the game as well. So on your turn, this game is uh, actually, as far as complexity with different roll and writes, this one is, is really, really simple. Um, what, what's going to happen is everyone, the start player, uh, chosen randomly, will go ahead and uh, choose, roll the dice, and then choose one of these dice. And what they're going to do is they want to mark off flowers uh, of the same color that they chose. So I'd want orange if I chose this. And I would cross or, or cross off or circle. Uh, you can see here in the rule book. So let's see these different circle combinations. You got four, and they're circling four here. So you're going to circle these flowers like that. And so for this one here, uh, I would be able to come here and there's these white flowers or translucent flowers on here that are wild. So the largest uh, grouping of colored flowers uh, you'll see is four. And then you can get five with uh, incorporating these wild. So I'd be able to circle one, two, three, four, five uh, for that orange. So I may want to take that. Then I would pass it to the next player and they, without rolling, would then choose, okay, and I'm gonna take this blue two and mark off two of those flowers. And then they'll pass the dice and it keeps going until the last person chooses that die. When everyone's chosen and marked, then they'll go ahead and pass first player uh, to the left clockwise and then they will roll and start a new round, okay? This will continue until one person has circled three uh, of their colored flower regions here. So as soon as someone scored three different colors, 
or if someone's able to complete four garden beds uh, that round. So you'll finish the round, uh, but that will end the game. And then you're going to have to possibly deduct some points for some unhappy customers. And if you did not use your reroll, uh, so whenever the dice come to you, whether it's at the beginning of the turn or maybe, you, you know, you've played and you only have three dice, but you don't like any of them, you could spend that reroll uh, then as well. So as soon as that's done, you cross it off. Uh, the other part that you get into, though, is with unhappy customers. And you get unhappy customers a few different ways. Uh, if I'm kind of stuck here, say with a, a six, uh, you know, I could get one, two, three, four, five with this if they're not crossed off. But what am I going to do with that sixth one? Because I'm going to get an unhappy customer here because... Uh, they want six yellow flowers and I only have five so I can do two different things I can just mark the five and I still mark an unhappy customer because uh, I was not able to mark six flowers or I could circle these say these six flowers including this orange but I would also get an unhappy customer because one of the colors is does not match the die so there's two different ways either you're not circling the amount shown on the die or you're circling a flower that does not match the color die that you've chosen. And that is Bloom. Uh, now there is, I did mention it is one to five players. There is a solo uh, version of this and the two player uh, game is slightly different as well. So when, you know, if you're playing with three to five, you choose one, pass it on. In a two-player game, you're going to choose one, pass it on. They'll choose one, pass it back, and you'll choose another and pass it back to them. So each of you will choose two dice per round. In the solo variant, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the wild, and you're going to play with just the colored. And you are also going to cross off the sixes here, or... You don't have to cross them off, but the highest point value that you can get in the solo version is the four point. Uh, so you're basically getting four points for any of the flowers that you were able to complete and the garden beds are the same. Everything else is the same there. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to be rolling. Uh, you're going to roll the dice and uh, select one. Um, and you're going to... The, you're going to select two dice total. So you're going to select uh, this one here and then maybe this one here. So you're going to select those um, and you keep going. You're going to select play eight. So that's with a little solo here. You're going to play eight rounds to see uh, what, uh, you know, get the highest uh, value that you can. And so that's the solo uh, variant as well. Um, but yeah, it is a great uh, roll and write game. Uh, and I uh, really enjoyed it. I played it solo as well as uh, with multiple players. I think it works really well. Um, it's, again, one of those things where it's not doesn't get too complicated uh, because you're just selecting one die at a time. And you have basically two objectives, trying to get the different colors circled as fast as you can, as well as complete the different garden beds uh, without making too many customers unhappy. Uh, and yeah, I think the solo, uh, little solo game in there is well done as well. It's a nice uh, addition to have that opportunity to do that. Uh, and... That is Bloom. Uh, I think if you like uh, the previous Roll and Write games, Quicks, Roll for America, all those others, uh, again, this is uh, should be right up your alley. If that uh, looks like something that you'd enjoy, go ahead and check that out. And that is how Lou sees it.